Researchers led by my friend Dr. Bashir have isolated several fascinating aspects of folk biology. I'm told this data provides insight on their native environment, specifically a metallic planetoid orbiting a pulsar within a nebula. There's one system that meets these requirements, Havas Kool in the Gamma Quadrant. I'm going there to investigate along with Captain Kira in the Defiant. Dr. Bashir will accompany us as well. His insight will be critical to the mission's success. The doctor believes we'll find what we need to end this conflict on Havas Kool. If he's right, and he often is, I'm willing to travel to the heart of enemy territory. Won't you join us? Be seeing you.
have to say, the survey reports on this system really don't do it justice. The nebula, the pulsar, dark energy, and the Herc homeworld. Nor I. Isn't that strange? One would think they'd place a heavy guard on their home system. How peculiar. Let's use this opportunity to look around. Quietly, of course. We're reading a number of interesting phenomena, despite interference from the nebula. Let's see. A plethora of heavy metallic compounds. And a hotbed of tetrion and thermobaric energy throughout the nebula. A fitting birthplace for a future star. There's a moon nearby. Preliminary scans aren't showing much. But it's just the kind of place the Herc could be using to hide a base. Or a fleet. I'd like to take a closer look. The pulsar's throwing off a lot of hazardous energy. Most astute. Scans are showing a lot Let's of Let's make the appropriate rock, shield no adjustments. metals or compounds. It's a lot like... Like it's being completely stripped of anything remotely useful? The calling card of the Herc, if I'm not mistaken. Perhaps we should send down a probe, just to be absolutely sure. There could be some Herc down there, hidden by the nebula's effect on our senses. Barely Class D. No metals, complex compounds, liquids, or atmosphere. The interior is a complex maze of tunnels. Thousands of them. This matches hurt patterns we've seen elsewhere. They've been here. The probe is online and transmitting. Our science teams are taking a close look at the incoming data, but it doesn't look terribly promising. Shall we forge on? There's a lovely planet nearby, no doubt filled with a bounty of toxic rocks and metallic salts. Entering scanning range now. Astronomic readings are strange. The planet has a highly eccentric orbit. Looks like it collects matter from the nebula as it sweeps around the pulsar, all while being bombarded with radiation. Definitely not habitable by most standards, though it's not quite demon class. An orbital period of several thousand years. That explains the Herc life cycle. They must hibernate while the planet is at the far range of its orbit. This orbit coincides with the previous emergencies of the Herc. The thousand year cycle explains why they appear suddenly, then vanish just as quickly. We're reading complex structures here, along with power systems and technology. This could be a base of operations for the Herc. It appears to be deserted. Why don't we take a look around? This could be a prime. Let's meet on the Defiant. We'll need to make some preparations before we send in the Way team down there. I've sent a team down to establish a secure zone. They're ready for you, but you'll want to put on an EV suit before you beam down. We have some in that container for you to use. Once you're suited up, we'll beam you down to the secure zone. It's just below the planet's surface, in a large cavern area.
I should have a habitation area set up soon. We can replace the reducing atmosphere in this cavern with standard oxy nitro and warm things up a bit. Kane's keeping watch, and Weir is looking into other connected areas. We should have a perimeter field up within a few minutes. and some wild magnetic fields. It's like the pulsar and the nebula are supercharging the metallic crystal compounds here. The environment's very different from anything we consider a habitable planet. It explains why the Herc are so alien. Quite a treasure for a geologist like myself. in order here. Defiant, do you still have a lock on us? Affirmative. If you need transport, there may be a slight delay due to pulsar emissions. I'm getting something odd on my tricorder. Glad you're still with us. Whatever that was must have left you for dead. I'd get moving in case it comes back to make sure. Looks like you're in a series of tunnels that connect to a larger cavern. Garrick and Bashir are close to your position. They're moving into a large open chamber. Try to make your way to them. Be careful. Some of the crystal formations down there are emitting intense amounts of energy. We can't lock onto anyone with transporters, and the others are reporting the directed energy weapons won't work. This is Bashir. Garrick and I are alive, but we're a little lost. Keep moving. You should head up to another chamber. Creatures in a passage near your location. Stay sharp. Garrick and I are moving into a very large, oblong chamber. And here I was, hoping those cozy, cramped little tunnels would make a Looks nice like vacation Looks like the door to the next spot. chamber is locked. Those readings you're getting from that crystal node are interesting. It's generating a localized magnetic field. Manipulating that field could cause a response similar to pushing a button or flicking a switch. I wonder, do you think Herc can sense magnetic fields similar to sharks on Earth? Yes, of course. I think you'll find a way to manipulate that magnetic field to open the door. The morphogenic crystals are probably the keys. So look for one nearby that has a similar output to the door node.
readings I'm getting on that crystal are weak. It probably isn't usable. That one's got an odd harmonic. Doesn't seem to match the rest. That's the one you need. Use it to open that door. You can't fight that thing! Run! There's a deep crevice ahead of you. See if you can get across. Hazardous energy and anti-gravity ahead. Use your thrusters! Creatures turn back. I must not like anti gravity. Slow and steady, don't get lost. Try to head up when you can. Garrick and I have a breathable atmosphere here. Everyone, try and reach our location. Williams here. I'm stuck in some kind of tunnel maze. Not sure how to get out. Ishimura here. My nav system's useless. I'll keep trying to find you all. Receiving your transmission from the console. Analyzing now. Uh, there's a lot of historical data and cultural references in there. Th the short version, the Herc used to be a peaceful species. There's talk of a great betrayal and some kind of epidemic then the entries just turn into gibberish This one looks like technical data. Interesting. None of their starships had weapons until 2,000 years ago. Their first designs were way ahead of most species at that time, though. Huh. How did they go from geniuses to the ravenous eating machines we're dealing with now? Report. I just lost crewman Kane's vitals. Weir's comm signal is down, but he's still alive. Keep an eye out.
Bashir and Garrick are just past this chamber. We're picking up some interesting tech on sensors. Interesting and, and old. Very old. Most of it predates the Federation by several centuries. Uh, are you reading those energy patterns on the other side of that opening? They're far more intricate than the others we've seen. We think there's some kind of ship ahead of you. It shows signs of damage. You might be in some sort of dry dock or repair facility. Interesting. There are large gaps in tech level between each section of the facility. It's as if the Herc learn as they hibernate. They wake up with a thousand years of advancements at hand and get ready to work. Pleasure to see you. We'll need all the help we can get if we're to leave this world alive. To that end, the good doctor and I have started to make sense of our surroundings. We seem to be in some sort of Herc command center. From here, we can begin to restore power in critical systems. Herc technology is driven by electromagnetic manipulation of morphogenic crystals. Doors, life support, everything, even their central computer. If we can find the right crystals, I can bring things back online. We can look for information on Herc biology within their data system. We might even find a cure here. I found a little information. This planet used to be rich in a type of fungus. It thrived in the harshest of environments, even areas high in pulsar radiation. It used to be a staple of the Herc diet until it disappeared from the ecosystem. Without it, the Herc began to suffer from a severe type of malnutrition. It led to a number of neurological disorders, many of which we've seen firsthand. Based on these readings, there should be more data storage units in the tunnels beyond this chamber. They're the ones by the door with the blue glow rods. One more thing. Some parts of the tunnels still have malfunctioning gravity systems. You should be able to navigate through them, but the energy fields in there will nullify your weapons, so be careful. just flatlined. It moved away from you and shrouded itself. Personal shield losing power. 
Send your officer to me so that I can address any injuries. That covers the first peaceful meeting between the Herc and the Founders over 3,000 years ago. It moved away from you and shrouded itself. Send your officer to me so that I can address any injuries. Send your officer to me so that I can... It moved away from you and shrouded itself. The Herc tried to synthesize the enzyme they needed for cognition, but failed.
One of your officers has arrived here. That's Kane's helmet. I have a feeling we won't find the rest of him.
my god. The enzyme the herd needs is a precursor to It moved away from you and shrouded itself. Nicely done. We should be able to translate Herc data files and run a detailed analysis of them at a greatly accelerated rate now. I have a good friend in Starfleet Engineering that would love to spend some time with this technology. The Herc have made some remarkable advances in their time. Ah, the first results are in. Excellent. I have access to a few critical systems, including gravity and power generation. Bringing them online now. That should make things go a little smoother. I'm getting some historical records now. Give me a moment to process it. Well, this is not good. It's a record of the fall of the Herc civilization at the hands of the Dominion. For some reason, the Dominion removed the fungus from the ecosystem during the Herc hibernation cycle. Military conquest, most likely. This is what drove the Herc to madness. It appears we have some uninvited guests. You're a long way from Zenketh, Admiral. Yes. To what do we owe the pleasure? Ah, traveling incognito. One of her many covert identities, I suspect. This expedition of yours has gone on long enough. Touch the nerve, have we? You found a secret I've kept for millennia. Something I've kept from Odo and the Great Link. The origin of the Herc infestation. And your role in it. I needed soldiers to realize my dream of dominion. Enforcers willing to obey without question. Physically, the Herc were perfect candidates. But their peaceful, free-thinking nature was an obstacle. In studying the Herc biology, I found the key to their loyalty. The Ketracel Precursor? Yes, I extracted it from their ecosystem. They had no choice, obey or die. I take it things didn't go according to plan. No, they became savage, incoherent, volatile. With each cycle, the swarm grew larger, wilder. My ability to control them diminished. All I could do was point them in the direction of my enemies. I would let them rampage and await their eventual hibernation. Cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war. They were a failure, but they provided a gift. Ketracel, the gift that led to a more successful endeavor, the Jem'Hadar. I think I've heard enough. I knew you were involved in this somehow. You built an empire on slavery, and now it's all falling apart. When the Alliance learns about this... But they won't. None of you are leaving this world alive. You would kill another founder? There were other founders who knew the truth once, like you. 
They did not want a dominion built on the backs of slaves. They tried to depose me, to expose the truth to the link. They failed, and paid for their lack of vision. All of you, against the wall. Odo, this is getting out of hand. Stop this, now! No, Odo. This is bigger than you. Bigger than us. The Dominion must endure. I'm afraid I can't allow that. What now? You've forced my hand. This is a modification of your own Herc lure. As we speak, every Herc in the Quadrant is homing in on the signal. And you're calling them here? To their homeworld? On the contrary, madam. I'm calling them to the Founder homeworld. Your chickens, as the humans say, are coming home to roost. Insanity! We will... I think that's our cue. Now that we have restored operations here, our ships will be able to lock onto us with transporters. I suggest we take advantage of this while we can. You... You did this? All of you? You killed a god? My god? My beautiful founder. God forever. I loved her so. And now you'll pay the Price! Guards! Enough, Wayun. All of you, stand down. No! You betrayed her! And the Dominion! I will carry out her final order! That Founder is no more, Wayun. This Founder has given you an order, and you will obey. No! He is no Founder! She was a Founder! He is a traitor! Guards! Shoot to kill! All of them! Belay that order. What? We do not serve you, Vorta. Where this Founder leads, we will follow. Thank you, my friend. Fine. Then I'll do it myself. Take Wayun into custody and return to your ship. We have business at the home world to attend to.
Tell me, was it part of your plan to draw every Herc in the sector to this system, Garrick? Because if it was, it worked with flying colors. We need to get out of here and fast. Our only hope is to punch a hole through the swarm so we can go to warp. It will take them some time to reach it, even at maximum warp. We should make the most of that time and bring an end to this madness. The information that the good doctor found should do just that. For now, let's return to our respective fleets and prepare for the next and hopefully final steps of this journey. Thanks to Garrick, my homeworld is under siege. I realize there's not a lot of love lost to the founders these days. But if the center of the Dominion falls to the Herc, the rest of the galaxy will soon follow suit. If you're willing to stand with us one last time, assemble your forces and rendezvous with my fleet in the Gamma Quadrant. I hope to see you there before it's too late for all of us.
There's a certain poetic symmetry at play here. The Dominion are about to receive their comeuppance from one of the many species they've abused. Regrettably, we Cardassians have some experience in such matters. Of course, our work is just beginning. We need to formulate a cure for the hurt before they devastate every system in the Quadrant. Hopefully, we can achieve this lofty goal before they make a meal of the Dominion. And again, science is often a lengthy, perilous process. I'm certainly glad to put Havas Kul behind me. Small, dark passages are not a passion. <laughs>